Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy today. And today we do have the grand finale to the Contemporary Handbag Ranking Series. In today's ranking video, we are going to rank all of the contemporary handbag brands mentioned in the series. And we're going to see which one rules supreme above them all. In the fires of Mount Doom. Now, before we hop into today's grand finale contemporary brand ranking video, if you guys love handbags, hauls, and fashion, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, please hit the like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Help me! Help me! I'm too lazy to escape! <laughs> There is going to be a total of nine handbag brands ranked today, and there is a special tier list, starting with S tier, which is the best, the baddest bag brand going right now. A tier, Big Bag Energy. They got the big bags, they got Big Bag Energy, they're just, mm, 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 mm. they're killing it. Not the best, but they are killing it. B tier, bitter sweet. They got a couple hits, but they also got quite a few misses. It's half and half. And C tier. I don't see her at all. I don't see her. She don't see me. When I walk by the store, I look the other way because I just, I don't see her. I don't, I don't see her. <laughs> <laughs> First up on the chopping block today is Long Champ. Long Champ is definitely an A tier handbag brand. It has big bag energy. From the Le Pliage originals being super affordable but still holding luxury. It still has a luxury point to it. Now, my favorite bags from Longchamp aren't the Le Pliage Originals. Rather, the Le Pliage Kiors, especially the quilted one. The Le Pliage Quilted Kior is a sickening bag. It, it's quilt meets right in the middle of the bag. It has such great accents to it. A stunning bag. And another handbag that I really, really want for my collection from Longchamp is the Brioche bag. The Brioche crossbody bag is, oh, oh. It might be one of their more expensive bags, but when I tell you I would be okay with spending money on that, just looking at it looks luxurious. It looks like it is worth that $1,000 price point, in my opinion. Longchamp is an easy A tier. They hold their own. They have made a name for themselves. Oh, she's taking it. Next up, the cult classic Marc Jacobs. Now, sadly, Marc Jacobs doesn't rank as high in my listings, but... They are still an iconic handbag brand. B tier, bitter sweet. They have some really sickening bags, but it's just not my style. Now I do recognize that the snapshot, the snapshot bag is super iconic. I see it everywhere. And if anything, out of any of the bags that Marc Jacobs does offer, I can see myself getting a, an iteration of the snapshot bag. I have heard quite a few times and from what I've seen in person, when I see a Marc Jacobs snapshot in person, like when somebody's carrying it, you can definitely tell just by looking at the bag that they are 
a quality driven brand. You can tell they put a little bit of extra oomph into their quality. So I would still love to have a snapshot in my collection eventually, possibly, but I'm not like oozing out of my pores to get a Marc Jacobs bag. You know, if one came across my eye and I really wanted it, I would love to have one. But, you know, Marc Jacobs is a better sweet ranking for me. Yeah, right, right. But after Marc Jacobs, we're going to turn our attention to the bag brand Pollen. Pollen definitely offers some unique bag styles, but I personally don't feel the bag styles like Marc Jacobs really push them to the forefront of like must-haves. Like I want that. So for me, Pollen is a B tier. It is bittersweet. I will say that the number one bag though, it still holds its own. I hear a lot of really good things about Pollen. Uh, I hear the quality is really good. Uh, I really do like what they are doing with the brand. You can definitely tell that they have their signature style and with some of their pieces, you don't see any other bag brands really doing the same thing as them. Paul Lennon and Mike, Mark Jacobs are kind of like at the same level for me. They are really iconic in their own rights each, but like, I'd only want one bag style from each brand. Next up, we have Kate Spade. <laughs> Kate Spade. Um, I'm sure y'all know where Kate Spade is going in this one. C tier. I don't see her. <laughs> I don't see Kate Spade. Um, she is not that girl for me. I only like two handbag styles out of anything that Kate Spade has to offer. The essential north-south tote bag from Kate Spade. I think that is probably hands down their nicest style. <laughs> and even then, it's not my favorite handbag. Like, it really isn't. It's just, in my opinion, the nicest one they have to offer. And with that being said, they really don't have much to offer as a handbag brand. I fucking hate you, girl. Because Coach does own Kate Spade now, I do hope that Coach can kind of, you know, trickle down some of their, you know, creative energies and, you know, some of the positive, really big things that Coach is doing. Hopefully they trickle a little down to Kate Spade, but until then, Kate Spade is just a whopping C tier for me. After Kate Spade, we do have APC. Now, APC is also one of those brands where they have a few styles, they have a nice... Uh, aesthetic to them but there's only a couple bags that actually catch my eye. I am gonna put APC into B tier. Bittersweet. The couple of bags that do catch my attention are really nice. Those being the APC Eva small bag and the Eva bag. I think they're cute. They do hold their own rights. Um... Now, does APC really elevate itself above all the other brands? No, they really don't. They offer some really unique pieces, but from what I see, the Grace bag and the Grace small bag are their, like, best sellers, which the Grace bag is stunning. Let, let's just say that. The Grace bag is a stunning bag. And with just the Grace bag and the Eva bag, like, you can't really put it anywhere else in like you can't put it in a tier it doesn't really fit in a tier next up is Tory Burch now I love Tory Burch I'm very new to Tory Burch but she has made a, a lasting impression on me Tory Burch is a tier she is pushing that big bag energy the quality that Tory is putting out is just Almost unmatched, the Eleanor bags, the Eleanor small bags, stunning bag styles. I remember the first time looking at the Eleanor bag and it caught my attention immediately. And it still does to this day. The Eleanor bag is just a sickening bag, especially with all of the new reiterations of it. Oh, 
The, the new holiday releases for the Eleanor small bags are just mwah, chef's kiss. The Lee Roswell small bag and the Lee Roswell double bag pack a massive punch for the Tory Burch brand. And the quality, the craftsmanship, it is immaculate. And with the Kira Chevron quilted bags that she has, y'all, the Kira line, the Kira line from Tory Burch is one of those quilted bag lines that is just almost unmatched. It holds its own so well. It is iconic. I definitely want to add Akira to my quilted collection because I feel like it would be a nice, uh, it would be a nice addition to my Soho and my Willis. Hmm. After Tori Birch, we're moving on to Rebecca Minkoff. Rebecca Minkoff, for me, has a f quite a few really stunning styles that really, um catch my eye that that really being the eddie maxi crossbody i believe it is the eddies the quilted eddie bags that uh rebecca has are really cute they take inspiration from other bags but they also just hold their own completely and i've heard really good things about the eddies i know quite a few subscribers own multiples which is crazy. I am going to put Rebecca Mink off into A tier. She is definitely holding her own. She got that big bag energy. The Eddies are big bag energy. Let's just say that. The Eddies are big bag energy. We are now closing off with the final two bag brands. The ones that I'm most familiar with. Next up, Michael Kors. Oh, Michael Kors. I'm in like a love-hate relationship with you right now. Um, B tier. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. And we all know why. My last video, I literally just exposed them for having uh, a downgraded quality. If it wasn't for them downgrading their quality, they would be A tier still. They would be bringing that big bag energy. But if they want to cheapen out on their bags, I'm sorry, sis, but it's a bittersweet. It's a bittersweet. Life could be worse. No, not really. And now, the final handbag brand for today's video. It is obviously Coach. Coach, sweetie, you are doing wonderful. You are killing it. You are making the girlies eat your foot. That's what's happening. Coach is killing the game right now. S tier. Coach had a really bad name for themselves about a decade ago. But now they are like killing it. Everybody is talking about Coach. They have amazing collaborations with celebrities everywhere. They are constantly working with upcoming artists and like, you know, Demi famous people. And they're just doing a lot with the brand. And they are pushing quality. They are pushing the quality levels. No handbag brand right now can beat Coach for price point and quality point. They are just unbeatable. One ring to rule them all. Coach has been like really pushing the handbag envelope. They've been pushing it with the tabby line. The tabby 26s, the pillow tabbies. The pillow tabbies have been everywhere. The pillow tabby for Coach right now is just like... Their it bag, like I swear, I see that bag everywhere. It is constantly being talked about. The quality of the bag is just superb. Well deserved. <laughs> My current favorite bag from Coach right now is the Willis 18 with quilting. It is just, mm, 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 mm. I love it. Like the quality is there. The bag style is there. 
And with the new bags coming out, I believe in December, the studio bags, the other handbag brands should be worried this holiday season when it comes to coach because they are, they got you. They got all you girlies on lock. And that is the T. That's the T. Coach is winning by a mile. And without further ado, I'm going to show y'all a sickening a outfit of the day. The Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's grand finale for the handbag brand ranking. Now that all the contemporary brands are ranked and done with, we are moving on to the high-end bad boys of the world. We're going to move on to Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Bulgari, YSL, the ones that are really killing it. <laughs> killing it you know anyways let me know your favorite handbag brand from today's video and without further ado if you guys did love today's video please hit that like button subscribe if you are new comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's video share with your friends and family check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my instagram facebook and discord notification squad i love you all so much and i'll see you all in my next video Bye. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over.